Oh, hello YouTube, I'm back. Uh, it turns out it wasn't a fuse, it was nothing. It was just the bright sunlight. I couldn't see. Hopefully you can make that out. That the lights are on. I mean, it's, it's just hard to see in the sunlight. It's 13 and a half volts being generated right now without the generator on. It's just the battery. So that's what was up with that. The fan is on right now. There's a fan in the back that keeps the unit cool. And it's been out in the sun for a very long time now. It's quite warm. So let's put that in there. Hopefully if I keep my head in the way of that light, I don't know how it's going to work. Let's see how many amps it's got. You can see there, it's drawing about 100 amps at full blast. Uh, it's drawing at 1.5 volts. And when I turn it off, it's just the battery power and it's back to normal. You can hear the fan going. What the? Oh yeah, sure. Yankee Prepper, yeah. Sure, I go check his channel out every day, but he shouldn't just have to come to my place and put a sticker on my window. Oh well, that's him. Oh, I got one tip for you. Um, Instead of having extension cords running all over your house, what you can do is you can get a decent extension cord, nothing like this, but and hook up one of these ends on the other end. Turn off the power to the house by turning off the circuit breaker downstairs. I mean the entire power to the house. Turn it all off. Then you can plug the one end into your inverters right and just plug it right into your inverter and the other end you plug into your 120 socket in the house so that everything that's in circuit on that 120 socket you can just Plug whatever you want into it, and there you go. You don't have to run extension cords all over the house. Just remember to turn off the main circuit breaker to the house because if the power comes back on, you're going to have some real problems. Okay, YouTube, uh, talk to you soon. Catch you later. Bye-bye.